we just hit 5,005 subscribers. I'm so excited. I didn't have a good day at work, although it was better than yesterday, but this is like really cool to be like having this many subscribers and I love all of you guys. I like to thank all the little people and here's the intro. Ah, no, seriously though, I am really excited and I want to thank you guys. That's so cool. Awesome numbers. Awesome numbers. Awesome haunt build this year. I'm not lying. Last night I said I was excited and I really am excited. Let's get home. Let's get safe. Let's stop vlogging and driving. Don't vlog and drive. Here is the wah, wah, wah. sad panda moment of the day. All these panels that we stacked the other day, <laughs> they're reversed. That one needs to go down there, and that one needs to go there, and 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 basically stack it back up in the reverse order of what is there. Like, for instance, these right here are the kitchen, or the transition to the basement, and then you go into the living, or dining room. Over here, these are correct. These are the first ones that are going to get used. These are the ones that start the drop panel hallway and the foyer that are going to go over there. Those pieces right there are the ones that I never put away from last year. Oh, do you guys see this? I'm telling you, remember, it was just a couple days ago. Look how big this is already. Hold on, hold on. Try to pull up as much of the root as I can. There's another one. Oh, stupid, ah, oh, dang it. Stupid trees. Like I was saying, these are the ones that, oh, well, watch out for doggy landmines too. They're all over the place. Uh, you guys don't have to watch out for them. I do. But the good thing about it being summertime is most of them have dried. So you step on them and they go crunch. So there's the two pieces to the facade. And then the peak, one of the peak pieces, peak pieces is over here. Uh, we still have all the paint from last year. I got to scrap and get rid of all the radiators. And yeah, all that fun stuff like that. So I do have my work cut out for me. All this is going to start Saturday. Look at the bedhead baby. Bed head, eight months old, and 5,000 subscribers. 5,005. Mohawk boy. I'm going to attempt to show you guys how I use the router to router out the letters. Now I'd already kind of done this one, but I want to tell you that you have to go up on the left side and down on the right. I'll show you guys what I mean by why you want to go up on the left and down on the right. So I'm going down right now and I'm going to be on the right hand side. So I'm cutting the line that's on the right. And I'm just going to continue cutting this around. I want to stop right here. And I'm going to show you guys why this is important. If you take a look at this cut, See how it's nice and smooth on this right hand side? But on the left hand side here, it's really rough and it's got all that burr material. That's why you wanna cut on the left hand side going up, the right hand side going down. It's kinda like cutting with a grain and stuff like that. And five out of five haunter babies agree that I'm crazy. <laughs> I have no idea what he's looking at. Oh, and I forgot to answer it in COC, and a lot of you have probably wondered, does Phoenix still stare at the shadow people on the wall? No. No, he doesn't. Dang it. So he must have, like, gotten... Whoa. Huh. So he must have, like, gotten too old for that now, but so... look at now his mohawk is a lot more full. Yes. I pity the fool. I do. I pity the fool. I am just about done. This is what it's looking like. Here's the secret phrase. If you guys can't see it yet, that's okay. It will be revealed in just a second. Well, this next clip to you guys, but like 10 minutes for me. As the foam settles, <sighs> there you go, guys. There is verbatim the last line of the tombstone. 
if you won and I know who the winner is congratulations I just I don't remember who the winner is I know where to find it anyway it was a, a Facebook person actually I can check right now hold that thought edit point congratulations to Roger belt he was the first one to correctly guess the last phrase of he paid his too so I don't know that was just kind of fun fun little contest so now all three epitaphs are completely done i was going to do scrolling but due to time eh, i'll do it like next year or something like that i uh, need to get these done so tomorrow we are going to uh, i'll teach you guys how to do cracks and weather them i always started out with a very quick cock uh. it's time for cock i had already filmed like a little thing right here but i already screwed it up so i'm redoing it so here we go jonesy's maze what sound effects do you use for your maze Several different ones. I've got like old time music playing. Go go look at some of the uh, the build videos last year at this time. Well, actually, a little Ford. The prop car has sound. There's sound of bees in the solarium. There's a sound of water in the basement slash dungeon. Um, a whole different play. And I'm planning on doing more sounds this year. Emerald Gypsy Heart. Love the new outro. I know. I think I want to keep that. That was a really cool outro. I like that. And you guys, uh, a lot of you guys had good guesses on the tombstone, but of course I revealed to you guys what it was today, so you know if you're right or not. So, happy hunting, guys. See you tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you like what you saw? Oh, you did? Oh, go ahead and subscribe.